Betsy has been an innovator. She was one of the first female law professors in the United States. She was, you know, revolutionary for her time. She was one of the first bank CEOs who was a woman. She's had a career of doing incredibly great things. The opportunity that I have to have to be partners with her, right, would be fantastic to begin with. Then, you know, if you double count the fact that I can, you know, count my business time as time spent with my mom. So, I mean, yes, okay. Occasionally I get, you know, I get the feeling like there might be a sense that I'm not spending enough time with my mom, but it's absurd at the same time. And I think my mom realizes that. And then on top of that, obviously you get to combine everything together. It's fantastic. Have a fantastic partner who genuinely loves you and you love them. So, I mean, like for me, it's been a fantastic situation. I only have the mom that I have. So I don't know what it's like working with somebody else's mom. I've worked with other people's moms. Some of it's been good. Some of it's been bad. But, you know, Betsy is fantastic. She's a revolutionary thinker. She thinks outside the box. She's incredible experience and has been always willing to innovate. And in general, you know, personifies the mentality of putting the client first. Her relationships, she'll go to the mat for So it's been a mentality of pitching in when somebody's in need that she's taught me tremendously, not abandoning them, but rather, you know, nurturing the relationship through cycles, business cycles, other things like that. And that, you know, I think has been great. I've learned an enormous amount from her. I think You know, as I get older, I have my own independent experience, but I have built other things, an asset management firm, broker dealer, a real estate finance company independently. And so I think, you know, we have a great exchange, an open one, and, you know, a super pleasant working environment.